Minnesota Fighting Vikings center Garrett Bradbury has uh, not been good since coming in as the number 18 overall pick in the 2019 draft. Where, hey, spending a first round pick on a center, ah, eh, what, what are the Vikings doing? Blah, 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 blah. And over the last three years, uh, it, it has not worked out. And this offseason, the Vikings are very unlikely to pick up his fifth year option, which would be in the tens of millions of dollars, and it would be fully guaranteed, not injury guaranteed like before. So, uh, uh, Bradbury is in a contract year. But, Head coach Kevin O'Connell talking at the NFL owners meetings. He basically gave a tacit endorsement of Bradbury. Here's what he said. Uh, KOC's optimistic take on the Vikings O-line. There's plenty of coaches in this room right now who are talking about two or three or four spots on the offensive line coming together. While the Vikings have one open job at right guard. So that means that Garrett Bradbury is likely penciled in as Kevin O'Connell starting center going forward. And... Is he salvageable? Like, mama, I can save him. I can change him. Uh, can the Vikings get the best out of the Grim Reacher? I, I got faith. I, I do have me some faith in Quasi Dofimensa, as well as Kevin O'Connell, as well as offensive line coach Chris Cooper, as well as uh, offense coordinator Wes Phillips. I hope we can see it. And that could be the reason why the Vikings haven't signed a guy like J.C. Treader. That could be the reason why the Vikings haven't signed a guy like Matt Paradise in free agency, even though he does have experience with Chris Cooper, the online coach. So we'll, we'll see. Uh, again, we'll see. Background, 26 years young, uh, six foot three, 306. Like we mentioned, number 18 overall pick in 2019 out of NC State because he was a physical freak. And you're banking on, hey, Undersized center, but uber athletic guy. Can he be the next Jason Kelsey? Uh, if he can hold his ground in one-on-one -on -one spots, I, you know, at the time we thought that that could be certainly possible. But <sighs> Bradbury, not so much. He has an amazing trifecta. So he has been the lowest graded qualifying center for Pro Football Focus pass blocking grade the last three years in a row. Thirty-first in 2019, thirty-first in 2020, and twenty-sixth in 2021, which is just win play show, baby. Cash that ticket. Last year he posted a 43.7 pass blocking grade, allowing 26 pressures, two sacks, and eight penalties. And part of it is yes, guard play. Where hey center you're at the man of the pivot and you're, you're sort of you're, you're sort of relying on the guys around you and his guard play around him has not been great it's where Ezra is developing at left guard Josh Klein was fine for a year but then Ole Udo last season was a mess before that you had Dakota Dozier and Pat Elfline which and not so much and Ezra in year three should and could be solid I do like the way that he's developing as well as Jesse Davis the new signee from the Dolphins again garbage right tackle Pretty damn good right guard. Or Wyatt Davis or rookie TBD. Hopefully someone steps up and is good to go at right guard. And with Bradbury, the problem has always been one-on-one -on -one spots. Where his run blocking has been pretty solid. Especially when they get out in space. Especially uh, when they're running outside zone. And especially uh, on screens. Where he got 56 downfield. He can use that, his movement skills and he's great. But what has happened over the last three years is that defense coordinators, uh, they're not dumb. Right, so they understand that Bradbury's weakness is one-on-one -on -one spots. That's why he ha constantly has 350-pound nose tackles over his grill. That's why they're consistently attacking the guards so that they're not allowing them to have double-team uh, help with Garrett Bradbury. So they're constantly singling up uh, 56. And I think that Kevin O'Connell and Wes Phillips and Chris Cooper, I think that they see is like, hey, we can uh, find a spot or we can uh, change some of the protections and line calls where Bradbury isn't exposed in these one-on-one -on -one spots isn't going to be bench press straight in Kirk Cousins lap so we can get him some help because I uh, remember Chris Cooper coming from the Broncos like they were the godfathers of the undersized zone blocking uh, offensive lineman from back in the day as well as Kevin O'Connell and Wes Phillips coming over from the Rams where they do have undersized center Brian Allen and he's been able to hold up pretty well got himself a nice extension this offseason so uh, I do understand the faith. I do understand why Kevin O'Connell uh, would have a little bit of, hey, Garrett Bradbury is going to be our starting center because I I, I don't know. Well, we, we don't have a good feel on how much they bluff yet uh, if they're playing poker. I mean, Spielman would be bluffing all the time. Like he, He'd be lying in his sleep as he's lying in his bed. Uh, but with Quasi and, and Kevin O'Connell, I don't know. Like Maybe they are bluffing. Like, uh, the, this tacit approval that Bradbury is going to be their starting center. Meanwhile, they zeroed in on Linderbaum at 12. Speaking of undersized centers in the first round, but if Bradbury can just... Mm, 
So strength is one of the easier things to add from a college player to an NFL player, especially since college players, they're still growing and developing into their body. So adding size, adding strength is, is should not be an issue. But over the last three years, Bradbury has not done it. So hopefully he can add some strength on, on the back end uh, as well as in his lower body, as well as holding up uh, technique-wise in one-on-one -on -one spots against nose tackles because they're still going to come after him. Like, uh, like like we said, defense courts, they're not dumb. So they're still going to be attacking if they feel like there's chum in the water. But they got to be able to shut it down. You know, whether getting Bradbury help on passing downs, whether Bradbury uh, getting better in one-on-one -on -one spots, either way, we may have to roll with them. Uh, because we praise Kevin O'Connell and Quasey for basically keeping the band together, but they're also keeping the tambourine player. So hopefully uh, he can put down some great beats uh, in 2022. Uh, but your thoughts on our thoughts. Garrett Bradbury presumptively is going to be the starting center for the Vikings next season. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.